The chat GPT software from OpenAI just came out, and everyone seems to be talking about it. But what is chat GPT anyway? Well, to put it simply, chat GPT is a chatbot that can understand and answer most of your questions in a very detailed and accurate manner. On OpenAI's website, the chat GPT is available to be used by anyone. Just type in your question and the chatbot will answer it. For example, if you ask ChatGPT to tell you about a certain topic, the model can look up factual data about it, gather the information, and provide you with the information you need in a very natural sounding way of response. ChatGPT can even help you generate codes if you need help with computer coding. Since ChatGPT launched in early December 2022, more than a million people have signed up to use it, according to OpenAI's president, Greg Brockman. Elon Musk described the language model as scary good and many people agree. But what exactly makes it so amazing? Why are many people terrified by it and how does the language model even work? Let's have a deeper look at it in this video. In a more detailed explanation, ChatGPT is a version of the GPT, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, language model that is made for conversation and chatbot applications. It is a machine learning model that has been trained on a large set of text generated by humans. It can respond to a given input with responses that sound very natural. ChatGPT was trained on a large set of human-generated text, like online conversations and chat logs, so it can come up with responses that make sense in the context of a conversation. One of ChatGPT's best features is that it can make responses that fit the situation. This means that it can remember what was said before and include it in its responses. This makes the conversation flow more naturally and make sense. In other words, you can make follow-up questions and ChatGPT will remember the conversation and still be able to answer accurately. ChatGPT can do a lot of different things with language, like give answers to open-ended questions, define words, summarize text, and even come up with creative answers to prompts. This makes the model very flexible and able to adapt to different tasks and settings. For starters, some examples of questions that ChatGPT might be able to answer include factual questions like, what is the capital of France? ChatGPT can also answer definition questions like, what does the word perfidious mean? It can also answer open-ended questions such as those about hobbies and opinions, summary questions, and even creative prompts. Yes, this means that ChatGPT will be able to write a poem tell a joke, and even write a story using the information that you provide. The language model is able to write a script, code, and write literature. It can even correct errors, such as in codes
and accounting entries if you ask it for help. The bot can also give short and clear answers to questions about things like vacation plans, gift ideas, and business plans. With all these capabilities, it is no surprise that many people have now been using this model to help with research, school, and work. Some might even say that it can replace search engines such as Google. Google gives people a bunch of links to websites that they have to look through to find the information they are looking for. And the main reason Google does this is that it gives the company a chance to show ad links, which makes money for the company. That being said, a chatbot that gives information in a format that is easy to understand is a major threat to Google's business. In the past few weeks, people have asked ChatGPT to help them write college essays, give them advice on coding, and even be their therapist. The chatbot was so popular that more than a million people tried it out in the first five days after it came out. Knowledge workers such as software engineers have also felt threatened by how seemingly quickly ChatGPT can do their tasks. The language model has just only been released and will most likely keep on improving over the years. In Time Magazine's conversation with ChatGPT, the chatbot answered questions about how it works, what risks might come with the spread of this new technology, and how people should adapt. As the bot itself says, you shouldn't take its answers as facts or proof that it has a mind that can think. But the text shows both how quickly large language models are improving and how OpenAI is trying to stop people from giving AI systems human traits. Some people still think it was irresponsible for OpenAI to let the public use these technologies, but at the end of 2022, one thing is clear, large language models are here to stay. And if, as some people think, they will be as disruptive to society in the 2020s as social media platforms were in the 2010s, it is very important to understand their vocabulary and limits. From what the chatbot explained regarding its limitations, one of the main problems with ChatGPT and other large language models is that they are only as good as the data they are trained on. If the training data has biases, the model may repeat and amplify these biases in its responses. Another problem is that these models don't understand the world or have common sense like humans do. This can lead to responses that are inappropriate or don't make sense in certain situations. ChatGPT and other large language models may also have trouble with open-ended tasks that require more creativity or subjective judgment. They also don't have access to all the information and knowledge that humans do, which can make it hard for them to answer certain types of questions in a complete or accurate way. To get the best results, it is important to be aware of these limitations and to use ChatGPT and other large language models in the right way. Nevertheless, ChatGPT is a truly advanced language model that definitely caught the eye of millions of people and even threatened many professionals. With a chatbot as advanced as this one, what then lies in the future of knowledge workers and AI? Only time will tell. What can you say about OpenAI's ChatGPT? Tell us what you think in the comment section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to be updated with the latest wonders of AI and robotics technology. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.